So, did we hype Brianna Liston too much after her first race for the 2024 season? Also, after two races, we take a look at Megan Tapper's performance so far for the 2024 season. And Noah Lyles talks about his party love for Jamaica. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at them. We break down the races. So, are you ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, first up, let's take a look at the remarkable Megan Tapper. She has ran two races so far for the 2024 season. Let's see. Let's assess how she's doing thus far. On Sunday of this week, Tapper performed at the New Balance Grand Prix in the women's 60 meter hurdles dash and walked away with a new season's best for her efforts. However, she was not in the top three. It was Tia Jones who took the win in a world lead meet record and personal best of 7.72, with Toby Amosan coming second with a national record of 7.75, Devin Charlton coming third in 7.76, and Jamaica's Megan Tapper took seventh in 8.02, a new personal best in this event. Still just 22, 21. This is the three hasn't made yet made a senior US team but fabulous as a junior Toby Amazon goes in four there right in the center in the white vest and black shorts for Nigeria Charlton in five Russell six Tapper seven well they get underway here and really good start from Devon Charlton takes the race to Amazon Amazon beginning to force way through though going well on the far side is Tia Jones and Tia Jones team the hurdles on the men's side hurdles had this fabulous way of leaning forward now watch this Jones on the far side I think still gets it Amazon great Tapper spoke with Sidon Bowen uh, about her thoughts on her performance at New Balance, running that new PB over the women's 60 meter hurdles dash of 8.02. Here is what she said. New PB, I'm grateful. Uh, wanted to come out here and actually, did, actually do better than I did last week. Mm -hmm. It's so, it's really disappointing that it's just by 0 .01, mm -hmm. but I'm grateful for the small mercies. And I'm happy that I came out injury free so I can go back into training. For this indoor season, it's all about like getting some runs in. Mm -hmm. um, I'd love to get fast enough to make it to the world indoors and see if I can do some damage there because you know my 60 is always the best part of my race. Yeah, quick coming out the blocks. Right. So I just want to get back there and see if I can go to the world indoors and do some damage. God's willing. She said, Thank God for the small mercies. Now, we did also see her at the Ashtana indoor meet um, early in the season. It was her first race. She ended up in fifth, running 8.03 in that event. Toby Amusan took that one with the second fastest time in the world for the 2023 season, 2024 season, apologies, at that point. Four, near Ali and five, so many global titles and podiums between them. And they're away this time. Barely anything to choose between them. Amber Hughes perhaps going well in lane three, but here goes Toby Amasan. She's turned on the afterburner. She was holding something. For the Nigerian, if it's confirmed. Look at this. Brilliant start, as we saw from uh, uh, in lane three from Amber Hughes. But Amazon just blew them away through the second half. Now, I love the fact that she's working on her start. She's always been very, very quick out of the block, so it will only help if she gets quicker. Of course, they have to find a way to make her quicker because I, we have discussed on numerous occasions. Um, the hurdles, uh, 60 meter and 100 meter hurdles, is getting insanely quick, and there's so much insane talent out there. Just in Jamaica, there's so much young blood. Uh, uh, Brittany Anderson, uh, Akira Nugent, um, Tarika Hill, it, there's just so much talent, not even to talk about the vets like Daniel Williams, etc. So she has to work on her start, clearly, but she always had a great start. But the fact is, if she's able to lower her PB somewhere to like a 7.0, I don't know, 7.07, 7.05, then she'll become really, really competitive. Check out the newest video from our new channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. I'll return to Treasure Island. I was extremely young. Let's say I had not entered my 20s. And for the first time in my life, I held on to some decent money. What did I do?
Watch our newest video at Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. Link in the description below. After running a world lead personal best and meet record at last weekend's New Balance Grand Prix, Noah Lyles, who took this one just ahead of Jamaica's uh, Akeem Blake, who ran that insane uh, six point. That's 6.45. Just behind Noah Lyles is 6.44. That's how close they were. Um, well, he had did a really interesting interview with uh, Sidon Bowen um, and really talked about how he loved partying in Jamaica. Totalmente, totalmente. Sí, lo que pasa es que esta gente no le cuesta perder ni cuando la chapa. Arranca esta final. Vamos a ver porque parece que es no al aire. Sí. No al aire. So, in celebration, he talked about how he loved to party here in Jamaica. Oga! No, in, in off-season, I saw you came down to Jamaica vacation. Yeah. How was that? Uh, we came down twice. Uh, it was great. Yeah. You know, uh, me, Janelle, and uh, Eva Sharika came by. We had fun. We went, uh, we went uh, mudding. Yeah. Uh, we got real dirty. even rained on us. You know, but we had a lot of fun. Right? I think a lot of my family enjoyed it. So, hopefully, we're going to be uh, starting to try and throw some parties down there. Now Elias talking about partying in Jamaica. Now on to the matter at hand, Brianna Liston. Um, she opened with a 7.07, .07, which was the fastest in the nation in the United States at the time, third fastest in the world, and number four in uh, PL Collegiate history. Set. And a good one there in lane four, Brianna Liston of LSU. Oh my, Liston, 707 for Brianna Liston. And we all got super excited, myself included. I mean, that was an incredible opening, fifth fastest. Uh, in, in fact, I think as of today, we're going to report on that later. She's now the sixth fastest in the world over the 60 meter dash um, for the 2024 season. But then, you know, she came back, ran the 200 meters maybe a week or so later and didn't fare as well. We talked about the fact that she seemed to have been, there, there seemed to have been a misstep in her race. She was leading. Uh, she did something. Go back and look. I'm going to put the video so you can go look at it. And she just faded, uh, came third in the race and ended up seventh overall. This is in the women's 200 meters at the University of New Mexico Collegiate Classic 2024. So at the Razorback Invitational, she ran in the 60 meter dash, 7.07, .07, and we were all excited. And then she came back and came seventh overall in the 200 meters indoors at the New Mexico Collegiate Classic. And many of you started to say, oh no, oh no, oh no, this is it. So did we overhype her? Now this, of course, is my two cents. No, no, we didn't. It's really, really very early, early in the season. That 200 meter was her first 200 meters for the season. And go back to the video. I'm going to leave the link below. Clearly something happened. She, she misstepped. She didn't injure herself. Nothing like that happened. But clearly she miscalculated and it cost her the race. And therefore she didn't run a great time. So as a result of this miscalculation, she ran 23.16 to open her 20. 24 season at 200 meters, but that doesn't take away from that insane 7.07 .07 seconds, people. Um, you know, sometimes, oh ye of little faith, have a little more faith in these in our athletes. Just a little more faith. 7.07 um, .07 .07 is very, very significant. It's a great start to her season. There was a misstep in the 200 meters. She ran 23.16. Not a great look, but not a terrible look. She came seventh overall. Let's see what she does for the rest of the season. Let's reserve judgment. If she's not able to re reproduce anything close to that 7.07, .07, then it's time to panic. Secondarily, let me say this very, very quickly. This young lady two years ago was the world under 20 200 meter champion. And at one point, the fastest uh, under 20 in Jamaica. At one point. I mean, well, high schooler in Jamaica. I should state clearly over the 100 meters in high school. She's an incredible talent. We all know this. I still think it was not hype. She's the real deal, Holyfield. But this, of course, is my two cents. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now, don't forget to go over there and support our new channel, Peter Lloyd World of Wealth. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, hit the like button. You are royals, kings and queens. Bless up.